Hey you guys, so the videos I've been making about men not paying for early dates is getting a lot of comments from the guys and so I wanted to go into it a little bit more detail. There are some people who believe that the man should be the provider and I'm curious about these people. Um, I know that one group of people is the very um, like traditional family oriented people where the woman wants to be a stay-at-home mom, have a lot of kids, maybe homeschool, and the man wants to be the provider. Um, usually these men are educated with good jobs, they're usually religiously conservative, and it fits into their lifestyle of a traditional family, a traditional roles. They usually will wait to have sex until marriage, although I don't know if that's necessarily so, but that's what I have seen among people that I'm exposed to. And so that is one case in which I know the man would be the provider. Realistically, chimes have really changed a lot to where men are not necessarily the providers anymore in a relationship because they can't afford to be. Um, I think only 10% of men make over $100,000 a year, and most of those men are already in their 40s. So in most cities, a man cannot afford to provide for a family. So I think this idea of man being the provider in the relationship is something that we really have to question. And in those cases where the man is the provider in a relationship, I'm just curious how many of these men are actually joyfully doing it happily doing it and i i know that exists i've i've met a gentleman like that but he was making money in the 70s when men were still paid very well and had very stable jobs and so he loved his job he was making really good money he loved providing but he's the only one i know i do know men who resent being the provider or men who abuse their provider position to control the woman or have expectations of the woman. And the woman loses a lot of freedom and independence because she's not beholden to the man. And deep down, he resents her for being a dead weight or liability. And she loses her freedom to be able to go places or get her nails done or whatever because after all, he's the provider. And she can't assert herself in the relationship because she's beholden to him She's financially helpless, like a child to him. And so I think those are the two extremes of what a provider role can do, where the woman can be really helpless. Ideally, the woman is working at least part time. That's in a relationship. But I think how you start out dating, it sets the tone for the relationship. So if you're a religious woman um, looking for a traditional type of role relationship, which only a small percentage of the population could really afford realistically, then it makes sense in early dating for the guy to pay most of the bills. But this should be discussed early on in dating before your first date, I think. Because otherwise, I do not think that men should pay for early dates with complete strangers. Now, it's one thing if you know this woman from work or from school and you've been around her for months and you know her and now you wanna take her out. That's different. But if you just met somebody on a dating app or you met somebody at the gym and you wanna to get to know them better, why are you paying? When the man pays an, uh, a healthy woman, it's gonna feel obligated because that's your money that you worked for. Like, why are you paying? Do you really wanna pay without expecting anything? I do not, the men who pay expect something, and Corey Wayne is a prime example. He has the kiss test. He's like, I paid for the sushi, so you better kiss me on the first day to prove that you're attracted to me because I paid for the sushi. So he completely, he's not giving it freely. There's a strings attached. And a lot of guys do have a strings attached. They're like, I've paid for three dates and you're not fucking me? So that that's why men shouldn't pay. I think that, Though there are women who will expect you to pay, and these are going to be the gold diggers and the entitled women, and then again, the small percentage of women who want a traditional relationship. But in this traditional type of woman, you're paying, and you're not going to get any sex till you're married, okay? So you both have to be on board with that type of relationship. 
And I don't think that's what most men mean. I think a lot of men think it's expected. Maybe because their mom told them it's expected. Because the mom likes men to pay. But I don't think it's authentic. Early dates should be 50-50. Usually, if you're both in college or you're both working, the date should be Dutch. Because the purpose of the date, in my opinion, is for you to get to know each other. And not for the woman to feel obligated or helpless or for the man to have expectations. It's just a more pure, authentic environment. But I do think that first dates should be fun. And here are some ideas for first dates that could be fun, that are cheap. Museum, a park, bowling, playing darts, going for a walk somewhere in public, the trampoline park, go-kart racing, Miniature golf, if you like a drink, to drink a bar, you can each pay for your own drink. Live music or dancing, volunteer somewhere, go to a fun grocery store like Whole Foods. Those are some examples. Um, the reason that you, a man should not invest that much on a first date is because what percentage of first dates are really successful? So why are you paying? And a lot of guys are like, well, I got to do the kiss test, so I, I make sure I'm not used. Well, how can you be used when you're not paying? All right, so I am really opposed to men paying for first dates. I think it sets a tone for the helpless woman, the woman feeling obligated, the man having expectations, and the, and the woman losing power. Money is power, let's be honest. Money is power. And the person paying has more power. The other person is a little bit obligated. You paid for me, so I feel like I owe you. If you're an empathetic person, you're going to feel that way. If you're an entitled person, you're going to think, well, I deserve this guy to pay for me. And some of these women are very elaborate. And the dinners they expect, the gifts they expect, the trips they expect, their expensive bags. You know, if you want a woman like that, um, you should pay. But I'm just saying that that type of woman is going to be expensive and the things she, the gifts she expects you to buy all along the way. She's going to want the bigger house, the newest car, the best jewelry, the big purses, the thousand dollar purses. Um, and you're going to have to pay. And whatever job you have, she's not going to be happy with because she wants you to keep paying. So uh, this is just not considerate of the man at all, in my opinion. Um, so unless you are looking for like a traditional relationship with the woman who cooks and homeschools and takes care of the kids in the house, why are you paying? Okay. So if you want a traditional relationship, the man should pay all along. Else it should be Dutch or 50-50 or just cheap dates because the purpose of dating is to see if you like each other and want to have a second date. So that's my opinion. These are just my opinions. I'm not any kind of expert or mind reader or whatever, but I just think that when men pay and women don't, it sets up a lot of very negative behaviors, roles, expectations, demands, and people lose their freedom to be authentic. Because deep down the guy expects something in return and deep down the woman's going to feel obligated or like, I got one up on him. I He paid for dinner. What else can he pay for? I just think it takes away the purity of getting to know someone and seeing if you really like someone. This is just my opinion. I'm curious what you think about men paying in early dating or men paying all the bills in a relationship and having a stay-at-home wife. How many men really... Here's the question, guys. Do you really want to pay? No strings attached. You're taking this woman for dinner and you may never see her again. And you're like, I'm so glad I got to pay to go on a date with this woman. Be honest. Be honest. You would be pissed. You're paying to get. You're paying to impress. You're paying to impress to get a second date. You're paying to get a kiss. You're paying to be like the macho guy. And then what? What's the second date? How much more are you going to have to keep paying? Where's the ante? You're going to have to keep amping it up. If the first dinner is $300, what's the second dinner going to be less? And then you're going to be like, how do I know she's attracted to me? Oh, now i got to do the kiss test. Now she owes me. So I really, I really think the guys who say 
the man should pay. I don't think they're coming from a pure place. I don't, I don't trust it at all. And I don't trust the women who are like, well, I put on all this makeup. I put on all this jewelry. I put on all this. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Just go and just be you and have fun and get to know people. Because that, you know, but of course there are people who want to play all the games and say, that's just not for me. I'm sure you can find channels where you can learn about how to attract a rich man and how to do all your makeup to attract a rich man and how to get a certain type of woman. This isn't that channel. This is more a channel about having authentic, enjoyable relationships. And for that, I think that we have to realize the value of sex and money as power or as setting up false expectations or feeling pressured. And I think it takes the authenticity away. And I think in early dating, people ought to just see if they enjoy each other's company. But if you're looking for a hookup, by all means, make the guy pay. Make him pay a lot because those hookups, he should take you to a nice dinner, buy you some jewelry, send you, buy you some nice wine. That's a sugar daddy. So you're looking for a sugar daddy or you're looking for dating or you're looking for a husband. Are you looking for a sugar baby? Are you looking for a wife? Are you looking for a girlfriend? Are you looking for a hookup? And what do you really want? You know, or where are you just putting on a mask and pretending? So those are my thoughts on it. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching my video.